He is well known for capturing magical images of wildlife in the Boundary Waters. Jim Brandenburg's photographs have graced the covers of several National Geographic magazines. Now he is receiving a high honor. WCCO's Muriel Mo sat down with the famous Minnesota photographer. These two stand out. Jim Brandenburg shows us the two photos he's most known for at his Medina home. I have a strong connection to wolves have since I was a boy. This one taken near his backyard in his other home in Ely. He didn't think he captured much through the thick woods, snapping only two clicks, yet one captured this. It kind of defines my career. It, it was life changing. The other one was taken of a wolf mid jump between two ice sheets in the high Arctic. This pack is a very remote area and uh, didn't have fear of humans, and that was a wonderful experience. Neither of these shots were planned, nor was his worldwide fame. Rarely in my life have I made a photograph, and as I shot it, I thought, that's going to be the one. This is Moose Lake. It's his natural instinct, a good eye, and a passion for capturing nature. You have to have passion. I've always felt I have more passion than brains and talent. That have all earned him the prestigious National Geographic Lifetime Achievement Award. This one nearly shocked me to the point where I didn't. Th I thought it was a joke. I feel a little bit embarrassed because I know that many that should have had it before me. Here's a story I did on Namibia. This award hasn't slowed him down, at least not yet. I don't know. I think finally I'll just run out of gas one day. But this award probably gives me a good excuse to start slowing down. His photography career has taken him all over the world. Mount Saint Michel. But still, his favorite place to take photos is his home in Minnesota. It's where I grew up. The salmon comes home to where it was born. And it just, you know, it's, it's just it makes you feel comfortable. In Medina, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. Congratulations to him. It's a big honor. honor. Yeah. yeah. Galleries of Brandenburg's work are showcased in his hometown of Laverne as well as up north in Ely. He has more books set to be released and two more movies in the works.